You and McGregor. <laughs> I was more Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks perfect for the school holidays, doesn't it? Now let's head over to the Beko kitchen. As Mark, you've got a treat to remind me. Thank you for reminding me where I was this time a few weeks ago in France, having a blast, having a ball. So we're doing a French dish, really. We are a French uh, side dish, a potato dish, but with all the ingredients and uh, you know, it's pretty much a substantial uh, meal on its own, actually. So the classic uh, tart de fleck. Yum. So. Uh, basically, it's just cheesy uh, potatoes. I oh, know, they, they love <laughs> cheese in France. France. <laughs> Obviously, that cheese did not come from France, can I just say? <laughs> it would be this big. <laughs> it would be yeah. huge. And then we've got a little bit of uh, smoked bacon in there, some uh, sweated caramelised onions, and a little bit of cream to make it creamy. It's, uh, it's a meal in its own. Oh, merci beaucoup. Thank you very <laughs> much. OK. It's going to transport us back to France, which I'm going to love, and we'll show you how to get into this very soon. Great to have you with us in the Beko kitchen. And Mark, you're going to transport me back to my French holiday this morning with a little bit of tap de flat, yes. which is something I did eat in French, and they're really good with it, aren't they? Just potatoes and cheese. In fact, they're good with cheese. Just put <laughs> cheese on anything, taste delicious. So we're going to go there, which is great. Ça va? Ça va. Oh, oui, ça va. Ah, oh. oui. Okay, cool. So what are we doing first? That's all I know, just quit while we're ahead. Um, <laughs> dosing, obviously chopping some onions. Right, yeah, we'll get some onions on. So yep. we're going to uh, a little bit of oil in the pan, cool. and then we're going to sweat the onions down. You know, you can caramelise them lightly if you want, get yep. a bit of colour on, it gives it a bit of flavour. Okay. Um, you know, if you've got a, if you've got loads of time, if you just slowly cook them, almost like if you're making a French onion soup, so you know, nice and golden. Ooh, nice. You know, it just increases the flavour. You don't need to, but then there's a little tip there to make it even better. Um, right, potatoes. So I've got a pot of boiling, uh, well, simmering uh, salted water on there. Yeah. And I'm just going to slice the potatoes, so even, so even pieces of potato. You know, you don't need to go too thin. You know, we don't need to do this on a mandolin. It's not. Um, are you okay there? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just getting emotional <laughs> thinking about my trip. Oh, really? Okay. Well, this is nice. I feel like I'm back there. It's nice. Well, that first week when you were back, I did you two duck recipes oh, yeah. to uh, remind <laughs> you, and then you didn't come back. And I didn't come back. <laughs> Extended the holiday just slightly. <laughs> All we need now to complete the scene in, Fr in France would be a whole lot of people smoking. <laughs> oh, really? Because <laughs> it's honestly crazy over there. It's crazy. So you're going to say a beret and a French stick? Oh, yeah, That'd no, be lots quite of good. baguettes. They're really good at um, uh, looking after the environment, though. Because just about everything, all their food's wrapped in paper nowadays, and if they put something in a bag, it's biodegradable. So and they're miles ahead of us in that respect, which is good. Oh, brilliant. And it uh, was a favourite... <laughs> cool story, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. OK. Yes. It's a cooking segment. What, yeah, what was right. the best thing you ate? Uh, the best thing I ate was probably organic duck. It was just Organic. beautiful. Cool. And it was, it was actually cooked on a fire by the river. Oh. It was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Sounds all right, doesn't it? No, it was pretty good. The region I was at, southwest France, is really well known for their duck. So in every region in France, they've got some sort of speciality that they, that they are and, good at. And, what, and do you know what duck is in French? <laughs> no, I don't actually. Canard. Ah, oh, that's it, it is. That's right. I oh, we know what that. chicken is, poulet. <laughs> it was pretty obvious. Right, so you can see the uh, see the onions there. Yeah. So you've got a nice bit of colour on there, so that's good. Good. So give them a good uh, season. Okay. So it's all about, you know, it's very simple. There's not many ingredients here, so you need to make all the ingredients sing. Okay. I'm just going to do a nice little dice of this um, bacon. And then we're going to pop the bacon in now as well. OK, cool. So those onions are looking fantastic. Good colour. That's it. We'll get the bacon in now. Keep cooking it down. You know, render some of that fat off the bacon. That'll go into the onions. You know, and probably to make this um, dish even better, you could actually use some duck fat in there. Oh, which yes. Which would just be absolutely heaven. That's something else I did have, actually, was duck confit. Oh, <laughs> it's so good. Basically, just a duck leg soaked in fat and then cooked again in fat. It was just delicious. Beautiful. <laughs> I think we've lost Mike. He's back in front. I'm back here. <laughs> so you can see, so we're just going to simmer these, bring them back up to the boil, turn it down to a nice little simmer. And we just want to cook these, sort of par cook these, because we're going to put the whole thing in the oven. Okay. Well, three quarters cook them. So it'll probably take about seven, eight, nine, ten minutes to cook. Wow. Um, and then we're going to drain them, we'll pop them through the fat in there, give them a season, and then we are ready to build our um, type of black. OK, nice. Oh, this, this is smelling very good. As you said, nice, quick and easy. A little bit of France right here. And you can do this, of course, at home if you want. 
because the recipe is available online. First though, we need to finish up this tart to flit. So we've parboiled the potatoes. Yep. We've, uh, we've taken the bacon and the onions out. That's all cooked now. Yep. Pop your potatoes in the same pan. Give them a little toss around. You can get a little bit of colour on if you want. Oops, sorry, lost one. Out of practice. <laughs> It's great having you back. <laughs> um, give it a good season. Okay, cool. Right, cheese. Mmm, yum. So this is a very conservative amount of cheese for this recipe. I think if you were in France, they'd, they'd get a whole cheese like that, and they'd cut it in half, and then put a bit at the bottom and a bit at the top, and then just throw it in the oven. Pretty much. It's I think brilliant, though. It. But it's very good. You can probably do that once in your lifetime. Yeah, a lot of fromage over there, that's for sure. They love it, and it's affordable too, which is good. You get really nice cheeses. So. All right, and this is an optional extra now, so just a little, a little bit of uh, chilli flakes. Yeah. Just, just a little bit, you know, you don't want too much heat, but just, it just adds something. Okay. And, it, and the spice actually cuts through a little bit of that richness. It's quite nice. But if right. you don't like chilli, you don't need to put it in. That's fine. All right, bring them over here. Isn't and now right we enough? are going to start uh, building. Okay. Move this out and you can pop it down there. Right. Okay. You can... Uh, Go potatoes first. Well, you so, that first. Yeah, we'll put a little bit, and we're just sort of layering it, but like okay. just just roughly, you know. I mean, not, you know, you don't need to be too um, dantic about it. Okay. And is there any sort of special technique you use? Any rule no, of thumb? Just chuck it in. Just chuck it in. Okay, <laughs> cool. As you just said, <laughs> don't have to get fancy about it. Yeah, you're a bit stingy on the cheese, I think. There. Oh, I'm just I'm building it through the layers, Mike. We we need a whole other block. We probably do, actually. I really think these uh, those chilli flakes are going to add quite a nice kick to this. No, it's it's really nice, and it's you know it's well worth trying it um, because it does bring it just adds something to the dish. And the other thing too is uh, if you wanted to not put bacon in it, you can make this purely vegetarian, couldn't you? Yeah, exactly. You know, just put extra cheese on. Okay, yum. Am I going too fast for you? <laughs> it's like you're still on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Right, so we're going to go with the next layer. And then just, as you build, you know, you can just pop it down and just make sure we've got a nice sort of compact um, you know, Okay, tin. cool, so press it down? Yeah, 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 cool. yeah. I mean, just lightly as you go. And, you know, you can do this in a pan, you can do it in whatever you want, like a different uh, baking uh, tray. And then, so once we get to the sort of the top layer and we've used up all our ingredients, um, we can... A few more tidies? Yeah, you can put, oh, yeah. put a couple more in. Then we've got the cream, so we're just going to pour a little bit of cream over the top. And that's just going to, you know, keep it nice and moist, and it'll all bake together. The cream sort of, will, um, you know, go thicker, bake around the potatoes, uh, and then all that cheese is going to be nice and gooey. It's going to be awesome. Okay, cool. There you and go. then, you know, a little bit of texture on top, just some breadcrumbs, and then just bang that in a hot oven just to finish cooking. Let all the cheese melt, and those mm. breadcrumbs are going to be nice and toasted. And that is it. That brilliant. is brilliant. So that is a meal on its own, or serve it with a nice slab of beef. Excellent. <laughs> no, that sounds good awesome and duck. smells good. Awesome duck. Yeah, that's right. Thank you so much, Mark. Of course, as I said, get the recipe, including the full list of ingredients. It's available at thecafe.co.nz. <laughs> okay, this Mark smells incredible. It's come out well, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Good. Thank you for taking me back to France. I shall eat it and hopefully be there. What are you doing tomorrow? Right, tomorrow I've got chili dogs on the menu. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs>